the collector with me jace and today is the first episode of basically your collections you the guys who are watching this sending in your collections and i'm going to show them on the channel so yeah featured collectors so this is the first one which i think i just said that <laughs> and uh, today it's michael who was the first guy to send me a load of images and i've had uh, at all, I've had a chap called Dave today from the UK who sent me a whole load of images through. Again, another person with an amazing collection, a whole load of information. David, I promise I'll start work on yours tomorrow. And I've had, obviously, Eric, I know you messaged me a while ago saying you would, and Jake, and there was somebody else as well. So if it's your first time here, guys, give us a like. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. It's just a click of a button, and it really, really helps the channel. Uh, basically, I'm looking to show off your collections. If there's there's a couple of videos down, if you go into my video list, it's a couple down where I just give all the information. But yeah, so you send me a load of images of your collection, give me some information, I'll compile a video on it, and I'll show it here on the channel. And without further ado, let me crack on showing off Michael's collection. So here we go, Michael's Michael's collection. Okay, here we go with Michael's excellent collection here. Very, very, as you'll see, um, wide variety of pieces in his collection here. Very impressive, Michael, fair play. Okay, let's get going. So the first piece here is the Sideshow Quartz Scale Hulk Maquette, which Michael told me this was his very first piece that he bought in his introduction into statue collecting. On the image, you can also see he has the Quartz Scale Spider-Man piece, also by Sideshow. And also on the photograph, there's um, Iron Man, whom I, I don't know who has made that. I presumed it was Hot Toys, but that would make it more likely to be a sixth scale. Uh, I didn't get any information on that piece, so I apologize, I, I don't know. Uh, some of you out there probably have more idea than I do. Anyway, next we have the fantastic uh, third scale Joker piece by Queen Studios. And Michael said he got this because he's just such an iconic character which of course the Heath Ledger Joker is and is extremely popular. Next, we have the quarter scale Sideshow Wolverine. Funny enough, Michael, I actually saw the unveiling of this by Sideshow. I happened to be watching their live stream at the time, so. Next is a piece by Tweeterheads, a company I've never owned anything by personally, but it's Herman Monster. I've got to say, I absolutely love these black and white pieces. I think they look really impressive. And next one, which is by Infinite Studios, is this Absolutely fantastic Charlie Chaplin pieces. This Charlie Chaplin and the kid and the child and whatever it was called, I can't remember. I, I certainly recognize the, the statue anyway. Uh, I think this looks superb. Next up, uh, the court scale sideshow, Michael Keaton Batman. And I know how desperately sought after this piece is and also how many DC collectors are craving for more Michael Keaton Batman pieces. Now, Michael told me that he is uh, particularly attached to this particular statue because he actually was extremely fortunate to uh, attend the premiere of the Batman film and got to actually meet several of the actors from the movie. So uh, fair play there, mate. There's a story attached to a statue if ever I've heard one. Next is this Super Mario piece by First Four Figures, a company that I'm not familiar with. I've got to be honest, I've, I've, I've not come across them before, but uh, who doesn't love a bit of Mario? Now, when I saw this John Lennon piece, I thought how it looked absolutely superb. And it's by a company called Molecule 8, which um, some of you may already know the story behind this. Now, Michael told me that this, this company turned out to be a scam. Well, I had to go and, and read up about it. And apparently the, the story is that the John Lennon sculpt was done by the fantastic K.A. Kim. But Molecule 8 went on to say that they made that many alterations. They didn't consider it her work anymore. And, and apparently she only got paid a very small amount of what she was due. Anyway, it's, it's online. So say, go and go and read about it if you want to. But quite bad that uh, such a fantastic piece gets marred by something like that happening from a from a statue company. Next we've got by Blitzway the Rocky Balboa piece. Very popular piece. I know a lot of guys I know who are big collectors of pieces like this. Next, Next up by Prime One Studios. Yay! We have this Optimus Prime piece. Oh. Next, I know this piece is very sought after, especially by some of the guys I know in who uh, here in the UK who are big collectors. 
the Indiana Jones piece by Sideshow. Absolutely superb. Anyway. Uh, next by Blitzway, uh, it's The Godfather. Next up, by again by Prime One Studios, this one third scale Superman Hush, which Michael said is one of his most impressive pieces. And I know, uh, having watched the BSC channel, how popular this, this Hush line is, and uh, there's some incredible pieces in it. Sticking with Superman, next we have the Sideshow Superman vs. Batman. Uh, this looks absolutely fantastic. And I really like uh, the, the, the little backdrop you've got to this as well, Michael. Looks brilliant. And next we have in one tenth scale by Iron Studios, we have this Willy Wonka piece. And also uh, there's a couple of other images that Michael sent me, which I'll, I'll put up now so you can have a look at the so Lord of the Rings stuff. And then there was um, some also cartoon statues as well. So I'll just put these images up quickly while they're on screen. I'll just take this chance to thank Michael very so much for taking the time to send me all of these images and also for, for all the information you sent me on them as well, Michael. So. Uh, uh, superb collection there mate and I really appreciate you taking the time you did and I hope you're pleased with how this this video has come out so huge thanks thanks from me Michael okay so there we go what did you all think I know there's going to be a few of the guys I know on one of the Facebook groups certainly are going to be seriously impressed with some of those pieces Michael um, yeah fantastic and I can I just reiterate what I said in the in the clip there because I actually filmed that a couple of days ago um, huge thank you I really really appreciate you taking the time for set of images and all the information thank you ever so much the same to all you others who have sent me messages saying that you're going to compile it or like David who already has sent a load of images through please guys I promise if you send me images and information in your collections they will appear on the channel I'll do all the work all I need is for you to send me the images and the information send it to Haunt of the Collector on Facebook. There's a link in the About section on this on this channel. Uh, I'm going to go now because I've got to edit all this and then I'm going to have to start work on David's and I've got my mum and dad coming around in a bit because they're dropping the dog off. So, yeah, I hope you're all having a great Saturday and have a great weekend ahead. Um, I was going to say something else and it's completely gone. Yeah, as ever, guys, give us a like, give us a subscribe, you know, you know, all that, all that gumph. I'm going to go because I've got loads to do. I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers. Take care of yourselves and thanks.